Hello John, you want to talk about your painting? Yes, uh, Oliver. Uh, this is a painting and believe it or not I get time to do a bit of painting, a bit of uh, painting art scene. Now, funny enough, this is one I did from a photograph uh, where we lived in a place called Killing Carrie, which is halfway between Delgany and County Wicklow and Greystones in County Wicklow. Greystones, funny enough, was known as where uh, old Prads went to die. Now, it mightn't be something that would be uh, widely supported. <laughs> Prads as in Protestants. Protestants. It was, it was uh, uh, considered about Greystones, which is a lovely seaside place. Why, John? Why, were the, why did they go to Greystones? Well, you? because a lot of people, because there were quite a few of them there, and it's quite an active community. Uh, but that was said, and uh, no offence uh, indeed to them, but because Catholics go places too when they're, when they're about to meet their maker, and um, you know, uh, maybe certain towns and places where they want to go. Now, this, as I say, is a painting of our house, it was a small bungalow there uh, in, in uh, Killingcarry, uh, County Wicklow, as I was saying. Now, my wife has green fingers, mm -hmm. that's her there in the photograph. She has green fingers, anything she touches grows. Unfortunately, I haven't got the same green fingers. If I plant something, it withers. Uh, now, uh, but she was, and she was also very fond of a collie dog. And that little gentleman was called Tendy, for tenderness. Now, he was quite the reverse of that, because he, he had been in a home and there were ill trees of him. So he, he, he liked us, but he didn't seem to like anyone else. As a matter of fact, he took a bit out of the census lady one time when there was a census. She come on a Sunday, and we'd already given her our particulars, uh, but she wanted to know about somebody else who was living near us, and regretfully she came on a Sunday, and he was in charge, and <coughs> he didn't allow her to come in. And she <laughs> got a bit of, her trousers had to be replaced. Oh, uh, she, she told us afterwards, but uh, that was the end of that night. But we had to kind of keep an eye on him. So that was Tendy. He was, he was called that, the, he was the opposite of Tendy. Now, that is an example, in some ways, uh, of, the, of, of the green fingers. This was in the garden, and we had a trellis in the garden, and there she is sitting, and uh, it kind of made a, 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 a into the garden, because the garden went into a slant up towards the front, so we had to try and um, do something to try and extend it and make it interesting. And this was a, uh, a method that we just found. hold it higher, there, John. <coughs> and it was it was very it was it was very successful. And there's an example of it before it was done. And uh, you can see up in the garden the dog is there now. You maybe can't see him. He's a black. He was a black white him, yeah. lad. And he's he's up there now. That was before all the flowers came on it, and uh, or the, what she hung on the roses and all the rest of it, and um, other other material, and it, it it kind of when you were sitting, you could sit and uh, in in looking at that maybe in the summer time and have your tea outdoors, and it looked very nice. We were near the road, but you couldn't hear the traffic, and you think you were you think you were in, in the country. Well. And we weren't in the country, we were in an urban type of an environment, but nonetheless it had that feel about it. So that's that painting there, and you can see it's a kind of a tranquil looking sign. There's the dog sitting, and there's no fear of, of, of him being out on the road with traffic or all the rest of us. Very good, thank you very much John. Thank you very much Arvo.